Hi everyone, Edgio here, and welcome to another car electrical repair tutorial video. Today, I am going to repair the headlights of this car. The problem is the high beam or fog light on the driver's side is not working. I already know the cause of the problem because this car had not been used for a long time, about six years. And some of the wires were eaten away by rats. The picture on top right shows what the cluster of wires looked like before I repaired them years ago and I kept some of the loose parts for future repair so here's the part that is responsible for the high beam light and it happens to be an HID headlight system the problem is caused by the broken wires that connects to this HID ballast. Now I will show you how to repair and test the HID headlight step by step on this video. First, I disassemble the two headlights. I start by removing this grill. This is the HID ballast on the passenger side. I then remove the car battery to remove this ballast. On the driver's side, I will be removing that headlight outside this video. To remove the headlight, I need to remove the coolant container.
here I'm removing the two of the four nuts of the headlight. Next, I'm removing the ballast holder. Then I set aside the stern signal light to access the last two screws of the headlight. I need to label these wires because their original colors are black and red. I am now unplugging the headlight from the HID ballast. This harness is where the headlight gets power from the car battery. I also need to unplug this to remove the ballast completely. I need to cut and label this black wire. I tested the black wire and it's connected to the negative terminal of the battery or chassis ground. I then disconnected and labeled the black wire. Cutting these last three wires completely removes the headlight assembly.
Here shows the two HID ballads, one of them with the broken wire. Here I am now removing the light bulbs. The short one is the standard headlight bulb, while the tall one is the HID bulb. And here's the headlight assembly part we need. On my next video, I will show you how I repaired the broken wire of the ballast.